Oh my god. <laughs> Hello everybody. Today we have a special kind of video because we have <clears throat> we have an unboxing. We have the Inspiri Key Dial by Huion. It's their newest tablet. It's a wireless Bluetooth tablet. I don't know if you can see that in the <laughs> in the thing. So like all Huion products we they give us, you know, the thank you card. Um Here's the here's the tablet itself. I already opened it because I was really excited when it arrived, and I accidentally tore the bag when I tried to like put it back in. Anyways, as you can see, the, what makes this tablet different is that it has a built-in keyboard and a dial. Listen to this. It's so nice, right? Anyways, yeah. So it has um. As you can see, it has number pads. It has well, it's, it's a the left side of a keyboard, but it also has like numbers here and uh, a lot, a lot of things. It's really interesting, really. So we also have um, the pencil and the pen stand right here. Um, I'll have the uh, the things up, you know, the things, <laughs> the info. So you know, standard two button pen nib right here if you twist this and open it if it will open there we go you can see that it has different nibs inside there we go and uh... yep it's actually a different format than previous models give me a second I'll bring a, a previous one so this is the pen from the Canvas Pro 12 as you can see, it's very similar. I think it's a bit shorter. Yeah, a little bit. It's uh, the nibs are a little bit different. I don't know if you can tell, the nibs are slightly different. The one from the key dial is slightly stubbier, while the the Pro 12 is pointier. But um, so in comparison, the the nib holder or pen stand, you can see this this format of storing the nibs but for the Huion Pro 12 one it's much heavier well not much heavier but it's a noticeable difference of heavy and the nibs on this one are like this in a like spherical pattern I personally prefer this format than, than the other one but like I mean it's it's tiny detail nothing too um yeah <laughs> so we have uh, our USB signal receiver so that you can use this wirelessly. It's a. Uh, it doesn't say what type of USB it is, but I'm assuming it's maybe a two or a three. Anyways, the USB to USB C connector for if you want to be wired. We use it. Use the tablet wired. Our glove. You know. It's always nice to have an extra glove. And uh, our drive disc. <laughs> That's not really a disc, it's just a cardboard. And the instruction manual. Cool. So, we're gonna hop in and test it out. Right, so now we're back here on uh, the computer. Let's go to huion.com/download. So we're just gonna search really quickly the key the key dial. Is this it? Drivers, the KD200. Yes! Ha 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 Key dial 200. Nice! Okay, so. Aha! Uh -huh. Some in, some out. Well, that's, that's nifty. So I'm opening Photoshop right now so that we can test it out. Uh, it's taking a little bit to open. There we go. So. Let's just, you know, start a new.
All right, so I'm just gonna go through like the specifications of the Huion key dial. As you saw in the beginning, you know, it's equipped with uh, a handheld keyboard. As you can see, obviously, it's a creative dial, helps you zoom in. Uh, I actually found it more useful for Photoshop. You'll see later on that I tried using Photoshop and Animate. But uh, while editing this video, I realized that it was also really useful for editing because it can zoom into the timeline really quickly. So that's another thing. Uh, it has a stable a Bluetooth connection of Bluetooth 5. I said 3 uh, previously, but it's actually 5. It's a 1.5 uh, millimeters in thickness, which is actually really, really slim. That's like this. That's like my phone is thicker than that. No, actually, it's like the same size of si same thickness as my phone. The battery life is 18 hours. The pen pressure sensitivity is of 18,192, which is really good. It's compatible with Windows, Mac OS, and Android. I have not tried it with the Android yet. The workspace is of a 260 times 142.88 millimeters. It's a USB-C interface though, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty convenient. Pen, you know, runs on Huion's, you know, battery free electronic resonance technology, I guess. Yeah, so it has plus 60 degrees of tilt support, so like you can get that tilt from that you would get from an actual pencil. It has 23 standard keys, which are which are on you know it, they're the keyboard keys. Uh, the battery life the battery life is about 18 hours and a charge time of 1.2 hours 1.2 hours, which is pretty pretty good. It has a, a communication distance of around 5 to 10 meters, which which is also pretty pretty good. And it goes to sleep automatically in 15 minutes, which is, which is interesting. Um, Yes, that's that's all. So now I'm gonna say some things that I experienced with this. So uh, when I draw on Photoshop, the main tools that I use are the brush, the hand tool, and the erase tool. The keyboard doesn't have an H, so to work around that, I assigned the H key to the top button of the pen, and then the brush key, the B, to the bottom button of the pen. And I just on the keyboard, I click E. And it's really close to the key to the dial, so it's really efficient to draw on Photoshop. In order to change brush sizes in Photoshop, you use the bracket tools. Like at first glance, there are no bracket tools on this on the key dial, but if you press a number key, and then Z and X are the brackets, so that's a quick increase in brush size as well. So that's pretty cool. And it doesn't have a G for the bucket tool, but I mean, just reaching to the G isn't that much of a hassle. Because I, I don't find myself, I probably just fill in something with the bucket tool like maybe during a few minutes of the entire drawing, so it's not that big of an inconvenience. As well as the, um, the select tool. I don't usually select stuff, it's usually in the sketching phase, and I don't, I don't mind going all the way to the L on the keyboard. But maybe, maybe you would mind, so I, I don't know, it's kind of personal preference choice. Now let's talk about uh, using it for animate, which is actually the like the whole reason behind why I got it was because oh this could be really good for animating. It's not. It sucks. <laughs> okay, like it doesn't suck. It's actually really good, but it's not uh, good for my use. How I animate is that I have a separate number pad that I connect to my computer, and I have my keys assigned to the number pad. So when I try to assign the shortcuts to this keyboard. Since it's an actual keyboard, it, it registers the A as the A and the S as the S. I couldn't reassign those because they were already assigned to essential things. Like B was a brush, A was like select all I think, well, a different tool. Point is, I couldn't reassign it. So for animating, it's not as efficient as I thought it would be, but it's not bad. It's a really good um, drawing tablet. It responds really well the the work area. It's actually pretty on point with the screen, at least for PC, I have not tried it with phone. For the computer, it's so accurate, like, it's surprising, like, it threw me off how, like, accurate it was, dimension-wise, to my screen. So, that's something to consider, maybe. But it's a really good tablet, actually. I can see myself, and I will, I've been actually using it a lot. I'll give it probably a 8 out of 10. 
because the keyboard is not as efficient as I thought it would be, but it is pretty efficient on specific apps. But yeah, eight out of 10, pretty good tablet. Definitely recommend. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. I'm gonna leave the video running if it's not over already. I <laughs> uh, hope you have a great day and I hope you're in good health. Wear a mask, wear your seatbelt. Okay, bye.